You might know Marilyn Manson's had allegations against him for quite a while. It seems like the news kind of plateaued out. It's been pretty slow, aside from a few things. However, now it seems it's getting back out there. The Sun, right here on October 10th, 2023, writes this. Behind the mask, Marilyn Manson's sex allegations, part of explosive new Channel 4 documentary detailing his alleged crimes. So who is Channel 4 exactly? Are they detectives going into this stuff? Do they want to put people in jail for unproven allegations before due process, before a jury, before a court? What are they trying to do here? After probing serious claims against Russell Brand, Channel 4 is working on another investigation, this time into twisted rocker Malin Manson. Okay, well, you can say in one way he's twisted as far as his art and his songs and lyrics and things like that, but you can't really say him as a person, Brian Warner, is necessarily twisted. And that's who we're talking about here. We're not talking about Malin Manson, the makeup, the black, the dark songs. Let's focus on what it actually is. And it starts. I can reveal it is making a documentary, Malin Manson, Behind the Mask, which I will look at multiple allegations of sexual assault made against the U.S. singer. But what I won't do is put out definitive evidence because the allegations are very old. I didn't talk about Russell Brand so much. I felt it was somewhat of a risky topic, but they mention it here, and I'm going to say, Channel 4, from what I understand, went looking for those things to write. They actively investigated Russell for... What? Why? Once again, Russell's accusations are, I think, about 13, 12, 11 years old or something. So why now did they actively go for this? Think about it. The three-parter is being made by Lightbox, a production company founded by Simon Chin, Oscar-winning producer of the 2012 documentary Searching for Sugar Man about the U.S. singer, Sixto Rodriguez, who I've got no clue about. Not sure if that's how you say his name. Is it like Chin? Like your chin? Okay. Susan Laver of Lightbox said of the new Manson investigation, this tells the definitive story of the controversy surrounding the star, charting his career from his early days through to his being dropped by his manager agent and record label as a result of the allegations made against him. Now, I only know about this on a surface level, I just saw this headline, but I'm going to make an assumption here. I would bet probably some good money that they're not going to make this fair and balanced and represent Manson and the way he truly thinks. What they could do if they wanted to do that was take his interviews from the decades, because they said it's going far back, from Phil Donahue, maybe, I think if I'm not mistaken, Bill O'Reilly or something, where he's asked a question, a gotcha question, to make him look bad, to make him look twisted, and he answers it very professionally, very calmly, and he makes the presenter look like an idiot. Someone asked him, why do you use the F word so much? Why are you cursing your songs, you bad guy? And he says, very calmly, well, when you're making a point about anger, curse words and the F word are a good way to show you're angry and to show you've got that emotion. He said he's not using it in the sense of just using the F word at random, and that was a good answer. A lot of questions like that, when asked, he nailed it. And even the audience couldn't help but to at least be quiet and not boo or anything. A lot of them clapped along. But if you get my drift, even the audience that was tricked or didn't like him or had perceptions in their head about him couldn't really even disagree. In first-hand testimony, we hear intimate accounts from his accusers, as well as those who robustly refute their accusations. Excuse me, allegations. Okay, fine. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have both sides of the story to a certain extent, but my bet is the twist and the slant will be towards, mmm, look at this, guys. We bet he did it. The series asks timely questions about how the music industry draws the line between rock and roll excess and transgressive behavior. I'm sure they do a great job at that. In February 2021, several women accused Manson, real name Brian Warner, of sexual assault, and within 24 hours, his music career crumbled. Well, why? I mean, if a career crumbles after the court case, 
after the whole process, all right, at some point, someone's got to make a decision, but just on allegations alone, what's to stop like five women getting together who don't like some famous guy or they want money and saying, he did this in 2016. We were all there. Get rid of them. What's to stop them from doing that? Even if you believe these allegations, what's to stop people from putting out false allegations about people unless they need evidence before the punishment? That just makes total sense to me. You can't worry about a victim before they're actually proved to be a victim. It just doesn't make sense. It's an emotional response. It triggers you. You're mad. You think it happened, but you don't know what happened. So you should probably stay neutral or live by the creed, innocent until proven guilty. Five of his accusers launched civil lawsuits against him, claiming sexual assault and other offenses with restrictions and adequate settlements illustrating how complicated the case against him is. Complicated because they're putting together a jigsaw puzzle here without anything tangible. He denies any wrongdoing, and to date, no charges have been made, but civil cases are pending, but not all of them, because quite a few have been dismissed or dropped. I wonder why. And they end with this. The new documentary set to air next year comes after last month's Channel 4 Dispatches investigation into comedian Brand. Made with the Times and the Sunday Times, the show revealed a string of sexual assault allegations against the comedian and presenter, all of which he has denied, and all of which have no evidence because they're very old. So, I don't know, man. What is Channel 4? You would think this should read. The new documentary set to air next year comes after last month's UK Metropolitan Police Detective investigation against Brand. Not Channel 4. I think we need a separation here between law enforcement and, like, the news. Because the news is not very trustable many times. And let me mention, Lisa from the Manson case has posted about this on X. Maybe check her out. She's helping me here follow the news. She'll be linked below. She's got a great channel. That's about it. I mean, I'll expect more from the Sun, and I think Manson should know he shouldn't sue them. That's not going to be a fair trial. So I guess he could just sit back and take it. If I were him, I'd probably release some statements and things like that. You know, like he answers on Phil Donahue and on the news and things. Very calm, collected, reasonable, logical statements. I think that would help people see a bit more of who he actually is. If you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done for now. See you next time.